All right, Sheila, I feel like this is it. We've got it today. Remember we practiced that intro? Let's do it. I have no idea what you're talking about, Scotty. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't practice anything. Welcome back to uh, Serious and Silly season two. Um, on May 25th, 2020, um, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, George Floyd, an unarmed 46 year old black man uh, was killed by a Minneapolis, Minnesota police officer. On today's show, we're very fortunate, Sheila, that we have one of his best friends, uh, Mr. Oscar Smallwood. Uh, Mr. Smallwood was a linebacker for Texas Tech University. And uh, he, was, he was a star at Jack Yates High School where he uh, met his friend he lovingly called Big Floyd. And he's here today to talk about George Floyd. So we're, we're so appreciative for his time. And we're hoping that uh, he can shed some light on this uh, senseless act of violence and uh, give us a little insight into his best friend. So Mr. Smallwood, welcome to Champlain College. How are you today, sir? I'm doing fine. It's an honor to be here to talk to y'all. And how about yourself? We are doing great. Uh, as we said, uh, we are so appreciative of you taking your time. I'm sure you get uh, hundreds of requests to talk about your friend. And uh, we're just so happy that you could join us and our college and, and give us some insight onto, uh, into Mr. Floyd. So I just want to jump into it quickly and ask you uh, how you guys met. How did you meet Mr. Floyd? Uh, we met through uh, HISD, Houston Independent School District. We were, um, we actually went to elementary together, but it was like, I guess the elementary keep you so separated. So when we went to junior high, the sixth grade, you're more like getting initiated to the junior high. But in seventh grade, you know, uh, we both, I, I don't know, you know, we both kind of struggled. I know I struggled, but I was able to get my grades back right on the seventh, not seventh grade twice, in other words. Um, but I was able to play back, make my grades right for basketball season. And so I played seventh grade basketball, but I guess Floyd was getting his grades right too. So after seventh grade basketball, the eighth grade, that's when we all, we, we came together because um, we ended up playing basketball together with each other. And you know, Floyd was like, you know, we lost, when I played seventh grade basketball, a lot of our seniors, well, those eighth graders went on to high school. And so we needed it uh, some more, but that's when Floyd, I, we was like, this, this giant walking around campus and we need, we need to get, we need to get a hold to him. We got to try to get him on our team. Once we get him on our team, we'll be good. Uh, how tall was he uh, in high school? <laughs> George, I say he was about six four, six, you know, six five. He was tall. He was the tallest one. I, we weren't measuring. They didn't let us measure our height, but uh, you know, he was. I know he was. Tall. He was about six something, deep six or something like that. But Floyd was tall. He, he was the tallest one, so everybody could see him. And in basketball, uh, in the 1988, um, you know, he was the. You know, we we never lost a game, but uh, you know, he he. It was like the last two games of the season, you know, um, they call it house bill, you know, no pass, no play. We lost George for the last two games. We had beat everybody. We beat those teams we played, but without George, he, uh, you know, he, you know, coming from where he came from, he came from uh, the real projects, you know. Um, so he, um, he, he called house bill. He calls no pass, no play. The last two games of the year, right before we finna go to high school and really get close together, so we kind of lost those two games without Floyd and Vaughn. Another dude, he's he's another dude of the, of the uh, movement for Floyd, Vaughn Dickerson. So we was all playing basketball together, and we lost those two. And we lost uh, we, we lost Floyd. We, we they they end up beating us real bad. You know they, <laughs> you know we we lost our big man. And uh, from what you were telling us before we started, you guys were like brothers. You guys bonded right away. Right, and we, we had so much come <clears throat> in common. Same birthday month, uh, same age. His mother owned a restaurant. My dad owned like a restaurant with a cafe. It was more like that. And the floor would pop up at, at the cafe. Uh, he would always show his face, you know. It's just that, and then, you know, by him being from the, the big part of the projects and getting his stuff together, you know, getting his grades right and, and doing the, you know, cause it's, it's, it's hard. It's coming from 
where he came from to focus directly on school when there's so much going on in your environment. Mm -hmm. So he proved his point that, man, I could get my grades straight and I'm coming in out there and play with y'all. And then once we got, we got used to playing um, school sports, we got immune to it. We, it. It became a blessing to us and we didn't have that, we didn't, you know, we didn't have that problem no more after we got our grades right in and start playing sports. Mm. Now this is, it's obviously a very serious topic, but you told a great story in one of your interviews about uh, the first time you were gonna tackle Mr. Floyd and what he did. Would you share that with us? That's, yeah, that's the, <clears throat> that's why I knew in elementary we used to play hot bars. You throw the ball in there, you either get tackled or you're gonna run over somebody, okay. Now I didn't meet Floyd then, but I know I was I was because when I, I came from I'm really from the country. I'm not really from from Houston. I'm really from a small little country town called Sweeney. So I moved down here, and um you know and I, but I we somehow I don't know I raised I was raised on a farm and I kind of got big early. So I was like I I was big early. So but you know so I guess he saw me. So in in elementary. By junior high, we 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 bonded on we bonded on basketball. He got closer to me, so all his his motive was because he liked the football too. And so if he, you know, what I'm saying, I'm yeah, his motive was I'm gonna get close to it. So I'm gonna have to let Wood ask me. Well, they call me Wood. I'm Oscar Smallwood. Oh, yeah. They don't call me Smallwood. They call me Wood. They just say you know out. But uh, he got close to me. Saying that, hey man, you know, uh, I'm, I'm from the project. I'm from the, the biggest projects in, in in Houston. Almost, I, I'm not gonna let you hit me, man. I, you know, we play bad. We playing basketball. We were hitting layups, dribbling, packs, and all just. He put that across my mind that, man, I I I, I don't like to get hit. That's that's that's, that's not. I, I don't want to get hit, Oscar. Although, because we took chemistry together and everything, you know, and he he stated that but he he wouldn't he did I can not. You ain't seen and said in so many words, but I can already understand what he's saying, you know. And you know how it is when, when you put on the helmet, you you just you kind of forget who your friend and who not, you know, it's just like like an army man or some or uh, a marine or something, you know. <laughs> you know, but uh yeah, he didn't he didn't want me to hit him on the football field. Now when he seeing junior how he played defense, we played both, both ways, offense and defense in junior high. But you know, in high school, your population is a lot of people trying to get scholarships and stuff. So you you play that one position, and he ended up playing tight end, which is the tallest, you know. And by me playing linebacker behind my brothers, them, um, I have to cover the tight end. So the jo George is actually practicing. I'm actually um, practicing holding George if it's a pass play. You know, uh, you know, sometimes run up, you got on, you know, football, you know how football is. And we just practice on teams, you know, but we have to make it look like it's actually live sometimes. <laughs> so we have to go full, full, full pressure. Um, I'm going to ask you, um, so thank you so much for sharing that, that story. It was just so honest and you can, obviously everybody that's listening can tell that you guys had a special bond. Um, yeah, I appreciate beautiful. that. Uh -huh. Very beautiful. Um, so yeah. not even a year after the very tra tragic events that took place in May, um, so many movements and projects have been created since then. It's, 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 it's incredible. And at Champlain here at our college, um, our students are amazing. And they created um, an initiative called BLAM, which is the Black Lives Elisha <laughs> Mission. And the oh, mission... Okay. Yeah, and the mission, um, it's with the mission of expanding an allyship um, network dedicated to celebrate and honor Black culture, advocate for Black lives, and influence positive change in our community. So my question to you, Mr. Uh, Smallwood, is what, what would George think about what has happened since the day, uh, since that day, and the sparking of so many movements that have been seen around the world? I know for a fact he would be shocked, um, and he'd be like, "I, I can't believe this. This is really happening. I believe it. You know, not over me. You know, he wouldn't. Uh, the example is, you know, is to reach out to someone before something tragic happens. You know, you can tell he was trying to get so many words out before that happened. I can't actually say because I wasn't there that he knew it was about to happen, 
but he was is like he was getting so many words out at one minute that you know it's you can tell he was trying to get a point across you know you know he's um that's how Floyd is you know he he, he gathers because uh, now I had a brother that passed away that got well he didn't pass away he got killed uh, I guess Floyd first man I, man first we had a teammate in there that was from the same his project name is the CUNY home is right next to all of the colleges. It's, it's a big project and it's it's one of the, you know, we in Houston we have wards, uh, fifth ward and third ward. It's just by numbers, but those are the two biggest wards. So he's from third ward, which is out of projects called CUNY Home. Fifth ward have a project called Kelly Court. Um, so you'd have to have them on your side, which is CUNY Home. That's where Florida is from. To make a long story short, uh, we had that eighth grade when we was in the seventh. It was in the dude that's just like Floyd. He was he was actually cold, just you know. And me and Floyd, we all was hanging out one night, and we witnessed this dude get killed. We was in the club, and you know they was you know gambling and stuff. You know how people do in clubs and stuff. And uh, it's a tragic one because you know the same holler that I hear when you know like big shout out to that dude who filmed. Uh, the film, the the, the typing, because you know I've I've tried to film something like when it happened. Actually, like now you're so nervous. That camera dude had to be. I don't know how he was. How what was the courage, or did he not know that what he was actually filming? Or so I'm, I'm my mind is on him. My you know my thoughts. I know I probably changed the subject, but uh, Floyd. That's but that's how Floyd was. He can. My brother died. He. He groomed me. He he took the, you know, he took me in. It was my older brother, you know. So, you know, and I didn't know Floyd was older. You know, this is my peer, so you listen to him because I was in my college town in Texas Tech, and and uh, so uh, I wasn't in Houston. And when I came home, you know, Floyd them had paved the funeral. They had my brother in the truck, Floyd and Vaughn them. It was like they had created so much for me when I came home. And it was like, wow, I believe, but you know, when your brother died, just like he had brothers that's really spokesmen for him. Uh, and they was in inside the back room when we all hung out, they never come out. It's like, like my little brother who who played NFL football, you know, those kids, they they watched us and they, you know, played in our helmet. They followed us, you know, and they took us for example. They see we came out of the projects and, and made something positive happen, you know, like, uh, get an education or uh, go to school, you know, um, it was real much motivated to that's why I know I can feel what the, the brothers are going to because I had lost a brother real early and, and we had lost a partner together way when we was like eight, I mean, 89, 90, we was like ninth to 10th grade year and uh, Floyd was hollering just like that cameraman was filming him when he first came on so I knew I tried to play Leary when I first heard it. Now I don't hear no, I don't see no R.I.P. George Floyd. I didn't see, I kept sweeping it. They just said Floyd. So I thought they was talking about a different person. But when the when the, when the camera and the news and the, the classmates got the, you hear what happened to Floyd, huh? I'm, what, I'm hold up, you know? And oh yeah, that just, that, that's, I don't want to get too deep on that. But uh, I know he was, you know, that's, that's something he had planned. That's, to gather people up, that's what he that's what he liked to do, you know. And he want we all want to make the paper and be successful with something positive. Mm -hmm. That was our ultimate goal, and to go to college and get a career behind us. Mm -hmm. So, how would you want people to remember Mr. Floyd? To remember your friend? Uh, as determined, um, you know, uh, when there's when you when you're going through. Uh, when you're going through crisis or uh, you're having a downfall that uh, or, or if you're chasing, I hope I don't talk too out about it. If you're chasing a downfall, Floyd is the one that can give you the, the motivation. Like, it's certain, it's like he's he's taught me now because I ain't gonna lie, you know, we all have history. We all done bad in our life or uh, did positive things, negative, and you know, we all were kids, we made mistakes, we all were dust, you know, no, you know, it's about casting the first stone. And um it was with as we learned from our mistakes and capitalize on them. And that's what that's what he taught me is like, don't go down. It's a way out of it because it's harder to it's harder when, when you go down the wrong path. 
it, it's, it's harder to come back. He, he had it in one sentence where I can understand it, like going through the funeral and it's one sentence. It's easy to get gone, but it's harder to come back, you know, and some people change that statement around, but the way Floyd made it possible for me to understand it's like he knew because we grew up together, we grew up together. It's like the terms he, he gave me or told me brought me right back quicker than what I normally would because you, you lose a brother, you know, and you, you lose a close family member, you know what I'm saying? And mainly that's when we all coming together. I, you know, Floyd, I, so I say Floyd would, would want us to come together before something tragic happened. That was his example on moving to Minnesota. I'm going a, I'm to a tell him, I'm going to show you how different life I'm going to show, you know, he did it for himself, you know, to get himself together, but that's what he wanted to, by example, because, you know, I don't, that's, that's, that's it. I'm because I was going to go into some old subject about the Minnesota, but I'm, I don't want to get out the questions you asked me. I apologize. No, you're, you know? thank you so much for sharing. We really appreciate it. Yeah. You, thank you so much for being with us today. Honestly, we, uh, we are very touched by your, by your words. Um, and as you know, we, we are interviewing, uh, you on behalf of our students at Champlain college. And, uh, and they've created, like I had mentioned, our BLAM initiatives, our BLAM, BLAM missions, but they want to know how to keep this conversation going. Like, what can they do to help remember George and what can they do to help continue the conversation on equity and equality for all? Yes, uh, how they can do that is the different stages of learning, Floyd. Like, me and Floyd, we hung out all night, you know, like, okay, um, we, we took chemistry together. Um, Floyd was the leader. Floyd could, that part out of, you know, he's, you know, like he's coming from the project. You know, we all have special talents. You know, I, me, my SAT scores, you know, we combined the scores then. My math score, I love the math. I was a math person, you know, but I was being in chemistry. Uh, uh, if y'all can get with Floyd, you know, this class would be out. This is what the teacher would always tell us, you know, and, but if they come to me, about like probably an algebra two or something. I'm probably at the bullet board explaining that, you know, how to do the equations. And we all had special talents and they happened to put us all in one class one time, like Gerald, Gerald Moore, one of our other classmates, they all with the with the movement, Vaughn them, they, you know, they got, they they made, they end up playing professional football. So uh, they made it to the NFL and a uh, couple of us, I think God, on our calling, God made us to be, you know, mentors for the kids and um, bringing our neighborhoods, getting the community right. And mm -hmm. some of us had different columns, but we didn't understand that because we, we were kids. I guess we wanted to be that that star, that main, you know, we wanted to be, that was when, we, that's every kid's dream almost. But uh, that's that's just some flaw, the determination, the motivation to stay doing something positive and, uh, and keep going on with life. You know, you know, know me, I like to pray and, you know, keep my religious up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one the one message that's coming through is you guys definitely had a, a special bond, you know, a, a brotherly bond. And yeah, uh, I know his trial is coming up uh, in March. And what what does justice look like for George? Yeah, it, uh, it's a tough situation, but, you know, uh, by us going through the morning, you know, that's just the getting it out the system or, uh, or just getting getting to where life to move on, but you still have this going on, you know. I but you but you know you got I have to smile because of the positive things, you know. You got people all around the world know about this. I see. I, I might be looking at a commercial and see his picture. Uh, if I'm catching the bus with his shirt on, I see people looking at me. So you know, it's it, you know. I mean, we we know about history. We know about uh. You know, the Martin Luther King, we know, you know, what you, we don't, I don't know it being close to, you know, like really actually knowing somebody. So that's like a, I have to, you know, how, you know, like if I, if, okay, I don't know to just assume and I became a star and uh, I have to adapt it. Every time I step out the house, people gonna want my autograph. I don't know nothing about that. So it's like, you know, by me being his friend. So he didn't, he didn't kind of really gave us the world we want, really wanted, but it, it, it definitely changed our world. So, you mm -hmm. know, it's just, you know, I had to snap out of it and, 
and uh, do stuff that's really, you know, because uh, Floyd didn't open up a lot of doors. You know, he didn't, he didn't done some positive for us, which if I hate that, um, and I don't mean to say, hey, but I, I don't like that. It had to be some tragic for us to, to, to uh, come together like that. And, you know, and uh, somebody had to sacrifice a life that's just, but, you know, I, when, you read, when I read my Bible scriptures, you know, it's, it's been happening since the day of time. So, you know, it's just pray and uh, do what's right and, you know, keep stay peaceful on my end. Mm. So, again, just thank you so much for, for joining us. Um, by you being here and all the movements that have been created and initiated, um, it means that he is still li like living on through you. So please continue to, to talk about your friend because we, we are so grateful and our students are going to be so grateful for all of your words. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Small. Uh, uh, already, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, um, okay, let's just say we graduated, right? We all went to the farm. We all shed our tears, class of 93. Uh, took the to, uh, the high school, you know, your your senior pictures and stuff. I mean, do you know how to class the whole class picture? Uh, let's say, uh, you know, we we had we have to separate. We leave each other. You know, we go to college. Floyd went to two different colleges. He went there, and I remember him saying going to Kingsville. And, you know, I, I you know that's like you know it's a Division two double A. Our alma motto was to get out of state, get out of the state of Texas. You know, Texas got so many Texans. You know, they're going to test you this. They're going to college test you. They're going to rule. So I would add, it's just something we did in our school as a class to get out of Texas. So, but me and, you know, a lot of people, the people that did got out of Texas, you know, they they doing something good. Like one of them in, a, in that fair. But we end, I ended up going to Texas Tech and he ended up going to Texas A&I. And, I, and, you know, he went to Florida, but, you know, he just was, he was, we, we still was in Texas. So, you know, that was a different dream, but I was just, I was really, because being the first one going to college in my family, I was just happy I was able to say I'm going to college. Um, mm. But, you know, you know, um, college is just say, um, you know, I couldn't, my academic niche, I could, you know, my grades ruled. So, and um, so here it is after college, you know, Floyd at home, you know, I'm at home, you know, a lot of tragedy, you know, the way he, the way he, his life, you know, because we have to deal with life. And like I said, you know, we're not, we're not, we, you know, we're doing what's right. You know, we're living and, um, you know what I'm saying? We got an education behind us. We do have a high school. and But, you know, you know, some college, you know, we, we got, you know, so we're a little bit more of adults, adults now. You know, he's gotten in trouble. I, you know, I've been in trouble. I ain't going to, you know, being, just being brutally honest. You know, I've done time too. We did. And to be brutally, brutally honest, we both did time at the same time. It seemed like now that I'm, you know, we going through all his history and going, that's why I say from life story, we had so much in common. It's just, it's, it's like a miracle. It's like, I wish I could have had this talk with him, mm -hmm. you know, before that's happened. It's like, you know, that's when, that's when you, you know, you got, you know, you got to monitor your temper because COVID now we can't do the things we used to do and try to vent and, you know, life has changed now. We didn't got throw throw different curveballs, so you know we have to handle stuff different than the way we used to handle it. But when I would come home, as I don't know how, because I would come like, because I end up staying in my, I really just moved back to Houston not too long ago, so mm -hmm. and we going on our thirty year reunion. So I spent a lot of time away from Houston, like in in West Texas and Lubbock, and that's where you know I, I just stayed at college working and living and surviving. But I would come home for each event. You know, we have a lot of events down here. And it's always just that same person I would see. George Floyd. No matter, I don't care, I don't care where I go. I could be at my daddy's cafe. He in there eating a the burger. If I ride through by Jack Chase, I'm going to see Floyd. Floyd, I don't know. With him and me, that's why I say he, he was man. It's, you know, and then, you know, like we, we lost that athlete. That dude, the, the first dude that passed away. Just not to be going back on what I was talking about. His name was Carl on. We have pictures, me, him, and Floyd. We have pictures. We all play football. The Carl, Carl was like track, swimming, basketball, football. Each sport he played, he stood out in. So we we uh we admired him. We looked up to Carl. And you know, for him to by us going out and a couple of people were dressed out a lot of somebody mistaken identity shot him. So we before us to kill him, we experienced that real early. That's why I say the Highland that I heard, that I knew it was real. 
when I heard that because he started hollering before the dude came around for, with the camera. I heard him hollering, "My not don't get the camera the camera uh footage mixed up with the dude who was filming on the side. The dude who was filming on the side called Florida. Soon he was hollering. I knew out the rip because I remember that same holler from '89. Mm. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? That's the one when we first seen a man actually laying down with a, well, he's not a man, he, he was kids, when our peers laying down with the bullets and like, oh, we were just thinking what coach gonna do, what's, oh man, it's, it's you know, it is, you know, the coaches had to come get us off the, um, off the, off the, off the streets, you know, we just, you know, it's just so much had happened and, you know, we going through so much, we didn't, we was confused. You know, we can be steered in the wrong direction and it happened even when we was adults. That's how we made those mistakes. After school, we went right back to, we thought it was the same. Life had changed. Life moved on. Life don't slow off, slow down for no one. So by us getting involved with those systems, it's not like how it was. Back then, they might have looked in, grabbed your hand and pulled you up. Now, these days, it might be they really trying to set you up or get you more in trouble. You know what I'm saying? So... We learned a lot, and this is this is coming from Flores from straight out because he can, I'm telling you, I didn't have to have people in the car that don't believe I, man, I know I played ball. They had kind of forgotten me. I've been gone for so long. Mm -hmm. So they don't really know me, but they saying they know my partner, George Florida. I said, all right, because I know whenever I ride through, I'm going to see, Florida. I'm going to take you out of Florida then. You know what I'm saying? And so I had to take them. Florida had to vouch that he know me because I don't know what they was going to do. He van his first thing he tried to say, Floyd, well, he man, if they know me, I said they know you. That's that's all he can tell them. God, oh, okay, all right, you know what I'm saying? So he had for us his Houston, he, he he had like, man, he didn't have to do he did it's just like Houston was, you know, and he had got on top of the mountain a giant and then he didn't climb the mountain. So and he know how I when I leave out of town, how I come back. Sometimes you you know, it, you come, you when you have like the spirit, and you and y'all can feel me when you're listening to me. This is how, and then once you get a certain age, you automatically keep it. You know what I'm saying? For I was seeing that way as I'm coming back, every time I come back, it might be nine months, it might be a year and a half. You know what I'm saying? So when he see back, he would see because I didn't have like when my brother got killed, I was I was out of there running from my mama, and you know, and you know all kind of stuff. You thinking somebody about to kill you and you know, that's, that's, you hear them, you hear them, you, like on the shirt, on the t-shirt, I can, you know, I'm, my stomach hurts, somebody gonna kill. Those are the stuff we was experiencing. Those are normal terms we go through, like Santa Sinners or Good Morning or, you know, I mean, this was back, you know, we still, this, we still back in the days, mm -hmm. but we getting up, we get, we coming up on some time frame right now. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to bore y'all too long, but I have, I have, man, I have really a lot of ventures with, with, with my friend and he just was there for me. And, um, but once he, once he planted a couple of more seeds, you know, and he had went to Minnesota, you know, um, you know, and he stayed there for a long time. You know, he, I guess he feels like, you know, and I feel like, and if I wanted to talk to him cause we had better communication cause messenger was up and you can find him, you know what I'm saying? And, couple more people was round, down there with him in Minnesota. So, but one thing I did honor because when I leave, I know how to gain my sanity back. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, when you're talking to the devil, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, it's like talking about it. That's, that's giving him action at what you, so that's, that, that's hindering you. He can hinder you what you're trying to do. So Floyd in, in Minnesota, really, we didn't know what Floyd was doing. And I said, that was a beautiful thing. Cause you can look at my messenger. I'm proud of you from going to Minnesota. That was probably like 19, uh, 2019. You know what I'm saying? That was my my last messenger, but we were spent. And I was like, man, he had been down there for so long. I was there when they first talked about going to Minnesota. It was to get it right, start a new life, you know, build up, you know. Cause see, I have, I have a daughter, eight year old, a six year old and a two year old son. His 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 daughter is six, when well, she just turned seven, and my daughter finna turn seven next month. We had that daughter almost the same time. But my eight year old Floyd was, and I didn't even invite him. The man popped up at my daughter's first birthday at the park. I say, man, this man, I don't know what he had on his mind, or you know, but I say, boy, you love and support for real. 
that's popped up on me, pick the kid up, say, you going to JY, you know, you know, that's your school. And it was just easy. And you can, I'm like, man, cause he's so tall when he stretched his arm out. So now he looking like he's seven. I was like, please, George, just give me my baby back, man. I'm down at time. This ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, Floyd was dying, he, man, he's, man, like they, when they say gentle giant, they, they, they came up with the right name. That was, that was George. That's, that's, that's why, um, can nobody believe that like, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of people like us and, you know what I'm saying? Some of them, you know, I ain't gonna lie, don't nobody deserve to be, you know, I don't believe, you know, killed or nothing like that, but you know, and it's just some of us, we're just, we're just gentle, we're big, but we straight jump to, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you got some of the people that's gorillas and, you know, you know, that they, they probably need some more uh, 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 heavy uh, uh, punishments and stuff. But, you know, I'm uh, Floyd, you know, that's, 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 that you talking to me and you talking to Floyd, we can, we got dances we do together. We got little, uh, you know what I'm saying, little, little slogans we use. We can talk in a whole nother language and Ernie and, and know what each other talking about. It. What's happening? What's, you know what I'm saying? All that we, we, we did all that together in the locker rooms and going places and, you know, experiencing life. Oh, man. Thank you so much, Mr. Small Smallwood. Honestly, uh, you've made me uh, tear up. You've made me laugh. It's been a whole roller coaster uh, with you here. Honestly, um, we really appreciate the time that you, you've taken with us today. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's anytime. Pleasure, Mr. Smallwood, and uh, unfor I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances, but it's been a real pleasure meeting you and talking to you, and, uh, you know, I hope uh, we get to talk again uh, sometime soon, so thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir, you're welcome. Anytime, I'm grateful. Anytime, I, uh, this is my bend to you guys. I got to I gotta get it in my system so I can be prepared for what's next, and, you know, we're still going through it. I ain't going to lie, I talked to your sister. Um, you know, they you know you the bro know the brothers doing they uh marching and stuff, but uh, you know, cause like, you know, it's the sister was older than us, so she was ahead of us. So we had to like kinda and it's a lot of stuff, but uh I appreciate you too, man. I appreciate y'all too. It helps me too just as much. Mm. Well, we're gonna continue um the mission here. We're gonna continue the conversation. Um sure. And you've, you've created, um, just by this conversation, it's just ignited even more passion um, for the students that we're going to be promoting this to. So again, just thank you so much and um, God bless. All right, you're welcome, bye-bye, bye-bye.